I hope it'll make people think before they act, you know, whether they're flipping people off, yelling at people, bumping into people, cutting people off. And if someone does get hurt, even if it's something not as bad as what happened to me, that more justice will be served. The punishment would be more than four months. Today was a wonderful day on so many levels. Um, the governor signed the Jessica Rogers Law, which is the bill to uh, create more serious penalties for road rage. Jessica Rogers, unfortunately, um, was a victim of a road rage accident. She was a passenger in a car where a young gentleman um, started to weave and chase another car and let his anger get the best of him. Unfortunately, she ended up a victim. Um, she is paralyzed from the chest down. She's had over 20 operations. Um, what's very important about this day is that it's the culmination of all the work that Jessica and her family have done. We as the legislators were the instrument to make it happen, but really they were the wind beneath our wings. Um, they were dedicated to the idea that this was going to get done, even though we started it to, you know, six or seven years ago. It was hard to get the bill through for various reasons. Um, we had to keep changing it and changing it, but they were absolutely calm and determined. And for Jessica, now there is a law that bears her name. Um, anytime somebody is saved from an incident of road rage, anytime that it happens and somebody thinks twice about committing a road rage act, about chasing somebody on the road, anybody who thinks of Jessica, she will have accomplished something. And I have a feeling by the time she's old, older, <laughs> she will be able to tick off many, many lives that have been saved, some of which she'll know about and some of which she won't know about as a result of her great work. She herself cannot be helped by this bill, but she can help others. She wanted to take a very bad situation and make it positive, and that's what she's done today. So as far as I'm concerned, she's just, this is just the first of many accomplishments for Jessica Rogers. You know, I just had some time in my office with the Rogers family and you know they have been completely committed since that time to strengthening the laws in this state so that people who engage in this type of conduct essentially using a 3,000 pound weapon to uh, express their anger uh, would be subject to much greater penalties and so I, I want to commend Senator Baroni for starting the ball rolling on this I want to commend Senator Greenstein who is here um, Assemblyman Benson, and I know Assemblyman D'Angelo couldn't be here, but has been very involved in this as well. I want to commend them for um, working as hard as they've worked to make sure this legislation got to my desk. What this bill does is makes us, um, all of us, as well as judges, see road rage as a very serious crime. Unfortunately, in the case of the aggressor who hurt Jessica, he got a very light sentence. In this case, these crimes are now third and fourth degree crimes. If it's serious bodily injury, it's a third degree crime. If it's bodily injury, it's a fourth degree crime. The third degree crime is three to five years in prison with a $15,000 fine. The fourth degree crime is 18 months in prison with a $10,000 fine. Um, in addition to the serious bodily injury, the person will have committed some sort of an aggressive driving act, which can include anything from following another car, passing a traffic light without stopping, weaving in and out, uh, following closely, all of the things that we would all associate with road rage. So it's the aggressive driving plus the bodily injury. Putting those together, it's a crime of road rage. And what we want is for judges and prosecutors and attorneys to understand that this is not a crime to take lightly. This is a serious crime. Uh, we expect um, serious penalties to be imposed. Well, we all know that acts of road rage will continue to happen. We certainly hope that a lot of people will think twice, but there are going to be some. And um, when an act of road rage happens and the perpetrator is in front of the court, we want the court to take that seriously and this bill will make sure that happens.